Hello and welcome to News in Brief from Vantage TV, where I bring you daily news updates on the stories that made major headlines from around the world. My name is Anita McCauley. Do well to stay tuned. On the national news, NNPC to reduce fuel imports. In a significant development for Nigeria's energy sector, the Nigerian National Petroleum Cooperation Limited NNPCL, has announced its plans to curtail the importation of premium motor spirit PMS, commonly known as Petrol, once the Dangote refinery begins full-scale production in late July or early August. This decision comes as the country looks forward to meeting its domestic fuel requirements and achieving energy security. For years, NNPCL has shouldered the responsibility of being the sole importer of petroleum to Nigeria as other oil marketers cease importation due to the challenges in assessing US dollars at official rates. However, with the operationalization of the Dangote refinery, which boasts a processing capacity of 650,000 barrels per day, the landscape is set to change. Waeg arrests over 20 exam officials for malpractice. No fewer than 20 school officials allegedly aiding and abetting examination malpractice have been arrested by the West African Examination Council, WAEC, in its ongoing West African Senior School Certificate Examination, WAS, for school candidates. The council said that the arrests were made in various parts of the country. The head, National Office of the Council, Mr. Patrick Aregon, disclosed this on the sidelines of a monitoring exercise he carried out in some schools on Thursday in Lagos. According to him, the WAEC has since handed over all the culprits to the police for prosecution. On to international news, Mexico charges migrants for fire outbreak. A federal judge in Mexico has charged another Venezuelan migrant for his alleged role in the March blaze at the Mexican detention center that left 40 dead and dozens wounded. Medical Prosecutor's Office said Thursday in a statement that a man identified as Carlos C. was charged with homicide, injuries and damages caused by the fire in the migrant detention facility in Ciudad Juarez, across the border from the El Paso, Texas. Stabbing in France critically injures four. A knife-wielding man stabbed four children and two adults at a park and a playground in southeastern France on Thursday in an attack that horrified the country and that President Emmanuel Macron called absolutely cowardly. The authorities said that the suspect, a Syrian asylum seeker who arrived in France last fall, had been arrested in the attack, who took place in Anneke, a city of about 130,000 people in the French Alps. Most of the wounded were hospitalized with critical injuries. The incident was not being treated as a terrorist attack yet, the authorities said. That's the size of the package on this edition of News in Brief. For more updates, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day.